Hey guys, welcome back to the Genius Tomato channel, the channel you can count on learn something new every time. The world is vast and there are many cities that one can visit in a lifetime. However, there are some cities that you probably want to visit first as they are in danger of disappearing entirely in the next 50 to 100 years or so. Coastal cities are some of the most beautiful cities of the world, offering an ocean view and a laid back beach vibe, but these cities across the world are affected due to rising sea levels caused by climate change. In this video, we will cover the top 10 cities that might disappear underwater within a century. Number 10. New York City It is no surprise that a city that is predominantly an island and by the coast will be in threat of being submerged underwater due to rising sea levels. The effects of climate change have been apparent in the Big Apple as there have been two major hurricanes alone in the past decade with Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Ida. In fact, New York City is the most at risk with rising sea levels of all the coastal cities on the east coast of the United States. Now put this into perspective, when Amazon was considering opening the headquarters in Long Island City, a neighborhood in the borough of Queens, they considered the fact that the headquarters was potentially in the danger zone for frequent flooding that was projected to start as early as 2020 and by 2050, extreme projections will have low-lying buildings underwater. One will have to question if this is one of the factors of their decision of not opening their office in New York City. According to a study by the Penn State University, New York City can be completely underwater by 2300 if the effects of climate change go unchecked. Number 9. Bangkok, Thailand According to the Bangkok Post, this popular tourist attraction in Southeast Asia is sinking at a rate of 2 to 3 centimeters per year. Bangkok itself is just a mere half a meter to two meters above sea level, which is just about two to eight feet. The city itself was built on soft clay, and the sinking of the city is probably accelerated with the sheer weight from expansion and build up of the city, as well as uncontrolled groundwater extraction. With the rising sea levels globally due to climate change, this doesn't offer much protection from the ocean. Evidence of the vanishing coastline can be seen in the low-lying coastline communities to the south of the city, such as Banku Tian, where the village had to be relocated inland. Predictions suggest that most of Bangkok will be underwater by as early as 2030, with the worst of it by 2050. To put that in context, 2030 is less than a decade from now. Number 8. Rotterdam, Netherlands Here is a genius tomato fun fact for you. Did you know that 90% of the Dutch city of Rotterdam is already underwater? The city is located on the Rhine River and has the largest port in all of Europe, but being the largest port also exposes them to rising sea levels and floods. Rotterdam is sinking at a rate of 1 to 2 centimeters a year, and with sea levels expected to rise 1 to 2 meters by 2100, the combination of rising sea levels and a sinking city can only mean that things can get really wet around there. Knowing this, it should be no surprise that Rotterdam is one of the most vulnerable cities when it comes to being submerged underwater in all of Europe. Are you still with us? Well, if you haven't sunk yet, then make sure to grab a surfboard and surf with us to the end of the video. Also, please make sure to smash on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell for new video uploads. Give the video a thumbs up and share this with your friends. Number 7. Lagos, Nigeria The most populous city in the entire African continent with up to 24 million people was built partly on the mainland and partly on the surrounding islands. The low-lying coastlines already made the city vulnerable to floods and during the months of March to November, the city is engulfed with multiple floods. With coastlines eroding because of rising sea levels, poorly maintained drainage system, and the ever-increasing weight of the city due to its large population and urban expansion puts the city at risk of sinking. Due to the existing low-lying coastlines, a study from the UK's University of Plymouth found that if sea levels were to only rise a mere 3 feet, it can have severe impact on Lagos. With predictions of the global sea levels rising above 6 feet by the end of the century, that can only mean that Lagos will be submerged underwater if nothing is done to combat this coastal city from going under. Number 6. Shanghai, China Most of the cities on this endangered list are coastal cities, so it should not be any surprise that this city on the central coast of China is also in danger of being submerged underwater. Matter of fact, 
Shanghai is one of the world's fastest sinking cities. It is ironic because in the past 50 years, Shanghai has seen some of the biggest urban expansion and now the weight of its own development and a population of more than 26 million people is one of the reasons why the city is sinking. Groundwater extraction, soft soil, global warming also contribute to why China's most populous city is sinking. Matter of fact, according to an article by the time, Shanghai has sunk about 6 feet since 1921. It is said that sea levels near Shanghai are expected to rise up to 17 inches by 2100 and that half of Shanghai is projected to be flooded and 40% of seawalls will be overtopped if nothing is done to stop the incoming tide. Number 5. Miami, Florida All of the east coast of the United States is in danger of sinking in the next 50 years and Miami unfortunately is not an exception but actually one of the most vulnerable cities due to the rising sea levels. Most recent evidence of this was the collapsing of the condo building by Miami Beach in 2021. The building has been said to be sinking due to long-term water corrosion of the reinforcing steel and the weakening of the structural support. The water corrosion might have been a likely result of the rising sea levels and the constant floods that Miami experiences frequently. To make matters worse, Miami's sea level is expected to rise an average of one inch for every three years and scientists believe that in the next 15 years, the sea level will rise even faster at 6 inches and will be up to 10 inches in 30 years. At this rate, most of Miami will be inhabitable in the next 50 years unless more is done to combat the rising sea levels. It may be best to get your fix of the Miami Vice lifestyle before it's too late. Number 4. Manila, Philippines It is said that the capital city of the Philippines is staying above water on borrowed time. This is because Manila is sinking at a rate of close to 4 inches per year while the city has an average elevation of approximately 197 inches. This is happening of course again due to groundwater extracting, overpopulation, and climate change. Also, the sea level at Manila Bay is rising at a rate 4 times faster than the rest of the world. If these projections are accurate, that means that parts of Manila is threatened to be submerged underwater about 50 years or so if nothing is done to combat this. According to a study by the environmental group Greenpeace East Asia, it can even happen sooner by 2030. Up to 87% of Manila's land area can be submerged should a massive flood occur. This will affect the highly populated areas such as commercial and residential areas, historical landmarks, and a popular tourist destinations. Number 3. New Orleans, Louisiana Another American coastal city makes this list and New Orleans have seen their fair share of the water element with storms, hurricanes and floods with most notably Hurricane Katrina back in 2005. New Orleans is sinking at a rate of 2 inches per year and a 2016 NASA study found that parts of New Orleans will be underwater by 2100. This is caused by humans and the environmental factors. The city's location being surrounded by water from the north, east, and south, and because of the city's low elevation, makes it especially susceptible to hurricanes and floods. Since the beginning of the 20th century, it is estimated that the state of Louisiana has lost up to 2,000 square miles of its eroding coast, which includes small barrier islands and wetlands that once offered protection to New Orleans against storms and flooding. Like all the other cities on this list, much of New Orleans will be underwater by the end of the century if nothing is done to combat the sinking city. Number 2. Venice, Italy In a city that is famous for the waterways and canals, it is on track to be completely submerged underwater if nothing is done to combat the rising sea levels of the Mediterranean Sea, which is projected to rise by 4 feet in the coming years. This beautiful coastal city is sinking at a rate of 0.8 inches per year and is said to be potentially completely underwater by 2100 if global warming continues. In recent years, Venice has experienced severe floodings including the major flooding of the monumental St. Mark's Square where upwards of up to 4 to 5 feet of water. The flooding has gotten so bad that a catwalk was constructed in order for people to get around in the severe flood water. 
The future is looking grim for this city as the floods, sinking, and the rising ocean levels will only get worse. It's probably best to visit this beautiful floating city before the romantic charm is washed away. Coming in at number one is Jakarta, Indonesia. This city in Southeast Asia is in danger of being swallowed up by the Pacific Ocean. According to BBC News, Jakarta is actually the fastest sinking city in the world and there's a good chance that much of the city will be underwater by 2050. With almost half the city already sitting below sea level, that's one sure way to make number one on this list. Jakarta is sinking up to a whopping 6.7 to 10 inches per year due to rising sea levels. Now this might not seem like much at first, but just imagine at this rate, in a couple of decades, those inches will add up really quickly. Additionally, the digging of illegal wells to access groundwater since the surface water is considered too contaminated for consumption. With the extraction of groundwater, there is not enough rainwater to replenish the water in the soil due to the fact that up to 97% of the city is covered in concrete. Groundwater extraction in the way of the buildings is causing Jakarta to sink faster and rising sea levels only add to the already dire situation. Jakarta is home to about 10 million residents and the Indonesian government has built walls in an attempt to combat the rising sea levels and flooding. They recently made plans to give the residents of Jakarta a new zip code by moving them to the island of Java. This plan alone will cost up to $33 billion and can take up to 10 years. If you have any plans to visit Jakarta, probably best to do it soon before it becomes a real life version of the water world. Thanks for watching. If there is a city you think should make this list, let us know in the comment box below. If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and clicking on the bell icon to be notified for new video updates. Smash the like button and share this with your friends. Stay informed, Genius Tomato out.